This has a spiral V going from the front foot out through the tail. It goes really well backside as well as front side. I think twin fins kind of have like a stigma of not working as well backside. This board has a fuller outline, which makes it easier to paddle. Koyo Kota, team rider for TNC surfboards. This is the sole fish shaped by Makani. It's a twin fin, a little bit more of a classic fish outline with uh, some modern high performance tweaks to it. It's a 5'5", 19 and 3 quarters, 2 and 3 eighths. So for this board, I kept it the same volume as my normal board, so, which is 27 liters. Because this board is a little wider, I get it a, a couple inches shorter than my normal board like two to three inches shorter than my normal board and about a half an inch to three quarters inch wider. I feel like it doesn't change it too much. It doesn't feel like there's less board to, to turn. So, I mean, even though it is a little shorter, it surfs like it's a little longer. So this board has a fuller outline, which makes it easier to paddle. It has a swallowtail, which allows it to hold better. And we have a baby beak nose on it which just adds a little bit more foam up front for ease of paddle into waves. So we have a pretty low rocker with a little flip on the entry rocker and a slight flip on the tail rocker, which just gives it that added high performance ability. So this has a spiral V going from the front foot out through the tail. And a spiral V is basically like a double concave where the stringer is above the rail or at least the same height as the rails are. And that just allows the board to roll from rail to rail easier. I wouldn't say it gives it lift, but it, uh, I'd say it like, it, it kind of keeps it more in the water. Being that it has this kind of double concave, each fin is gonna have its own kind of like air channel because it's scooped out there's like two, two concaves on it, but the Spiral V allows it to still grip in the, in the wave, so it's not like super skatey. There's more grip in the center of the board, so it, you're not gonna slide out, you know, it really holds. So it turns pretty tight in the pocket. I find with this board, it's good for like beach breaks and like really tight pockets as well as like a more big open face wave because it has that kind of wider straight outline. But it, it does have like those added like kind of modern tweaks with the flip in the nose and the, in the tail, which allows it to still surf more progressively. It goes really well backside as well as front side. I think twin fins kind of have like a stigma of not working as well backside, especially like keel twin fins. This definitely doesn't feel limited to only front side surfing. The flatter rocker allows it to, to fly over flatter sections easier. So gives it a little more drive and it's pretty drivey. It adds speed to the board. And then being that it's a twin fin, it's just extra fast and loose. But yeah, very, very speedy, easy to maneuver <laughs> board. Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty user-friendly twin fin, definitely. Beginners would have a lot of fun on this board as well. If you're looking to get into like some shorter, find a shorter shape, this is definitely a, an easy, good uh, first board to step down into it. I guess if I'm just like cruising on the wave, I'll be a little bit more center stanced. But then when I'm like going to do a turn or something, I'll put my foot further back. You can definitely ride this board like a little bit more front footed. I'd say the sweet spot is definitely like right behind the fins. It's the sweet spot. I consider myself more of a neutral stance, I guess. Neutral footed. <laughs> I don't really feel like I favor either foot. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty neutral board. So whether you're a front footed or back footed surfer, I feel like it wouldn't really matter too much. It'd still respond good. Uh, this is a standard like poly. He shaped this model a while ago. He kind of like approached me and was like, oh, I think you should try this model, see what you think about it. After I wrote it, I kind of like suggested to continue the spiral V a little bit further up into the front foot. 
that just added the ability to go from rail to rail a little easier. So I've ridden this board from like one foot to well overhead and it works well in all like from one foot to four or five feet. So it's a pretty versatile board. It's kind of like a good cross between a classic fish and a high performance shortboard. Um, so you're not really like sacrificing that ability to surf a little bit more progressively, but you can still have that classic fish feeling. So I'm riding my go-to Aquila Ipa Future Twin Fins. I like to ride the Aquilas when it's a little bit more punchy and hollow. These are uh, a little bit smaller. They have a nice like balanced template. Usually I'll go to those fins, but if it's a, it's a little softer and gutless, I'll throw these fins on, the Brett Merricks. These, the Brett Merrick twin fins, they're kind of more like a traditional keel shape, but a little bit more modernized and high performance -y. I find these fins work better when it's a little slopier and soft, just allows the board to carry speed through those flatter sections. These are the two fins that I like to ride on this board. Because it has that like classic fish feeling, but I don't lose that like high performance ability on it. I think that's my favorite aspect about this board. And it's just like easy and fun. It's very, it's also like a very versatile board and because it's like a little smaller and compact, it makes it just like feel easy to grab and want to ride it in pretty much any everyday surf. It's a 5.5, five, 19 and 3 quarters, 2 and 3 eighths. This board has a fuller outline, which makes it easier to paddle. It has a swallow tail, which allows it to hold better. Baby beak nose on it adds a little bit more foam up front for ease of paddle into waves. Flatter rocker allows it to fly over flatter sections easier. With a little flip on the entry rocker, a slight flip on the tail rocker, which just gives it that added high performance ability. Easy to maneuver <laughs> board. And then being that it's a twin fin, it's just extra fast and loose. It goes really well backside as well as front side. It's good for beach breaks and like really tight pockets as well as big open face wave. Spiral V going from the front foot out through the tail. And a spiral V is basically double concave where the stringer is above the rail or the same height as the rails are. And that just allows the board to roll from rail to rail easier. There's more grip in the center of the boards. Definitely beginners would have a lot of fun on this board as well. It's a pretty neutral board, so whether you're a front-footed or back-footed surfer, I feel like it wouldn't really matter too much. This is a standard like poly. It works well from one foot to four or five feet. Mahalo for watching. To check out the Soulfish and our other epic surfboards, go to our website, link in the description, and subscribe for more surf content.